All right. So let's talk about dim lines, baby. Let's talk about dim lines. We're going to do some stuff with lenses because I feel like if you can rewatch it a few times and go along with it, it might be useful. So first thing we do, draw that lens, baby. Then we draw the baseline. I'm going to go out of frame here for a second. Don't be angry with me. Okay. Baseline, 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 baseline. All right, there you go. Smack dab in the middle-ish of the lens. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to place a mark. If there's a center of the lens, I'm going to place a mark for my focal length. That doesn't matter quite where it is, so I'll just put it at 10 units away, whether it be centimeters or inches, whatever. It doesn't matter. There you go. 10 away. There you go. Now, with these, you always put one on the left side. Put one on the right side. Okay? Always make two for lenses, no matter whether it's convex, concave. Next, we're going to put our object somewhere. Oh, it doesn't quite matter where it is. Let's put it at 20. All the way out here. Let's make sure this is lined up. Got enough little dashes there. Yeah, I got enough dashes on that side. Okay, then we're going to make our object. Doesn't matter what it is. We'll make it a, a little candle here. Okay, a little tiny candle. Okay, cool. Now, for us, we're going to do two different rays. We only do two different rays coming off of the candle. We do the first one parallel to the baseline. So there you go, line it up real good right there. And draw a line over to the lens. And then we stop right in the middle of the lens right there. Okay. Now, the first line always goes through the focal point. Now, for lenses, it goes through the one on the right hand side. Back when we did mirrors, it went through the one on the left hand side, but. We're doing lenses right now, so we draw a line. It's going through there. And we labeled these lines. Line 1 and line refracted 1. Okay? Second line we draw is through the focal point. Now, we're not going to draw it through this focal point on the right. We're going to draw it through the focal point on the left. So there we go. Line up the top of the candle with the focal point on the left. That looks good right about there. When you're drawing these on the test, it doesn't have to be perfect. This has to be pretty close. There you go. We stop right there middle of the lens, after you stop right there, middle of the lens, you draw a line that is parallel to the baseline. Okay, easiest right there, so like it, right about there. All right, now, where those two lines meet, line two, line R2, refracted two, where those two lines meet, right her, that is going to be where the top of the image is, because this is where it came from. It came from the top of the object, so that means it's going to be the top of the image. So we draw our little guy upside down. The base of the image is at the same level as the base of the object for this. Okay. It doesn't always have to be, but it is on all of our problems. Okay, so there's your image. Now if we were to do the mathematics for this, I'm sure it would work out just fine. So why don't we give it a shot here. If we, remember this right here was at 10. We put that one at 20, I believe. Double check there. Yep, but up, but up, yep, 20. So we've got an object distance of 20 of the units. We'll just call it uh, centimeters because I don't know how big it is. Now we have an F of 10 centimeters. We have a Q of hopefully a number. Okay, we line it up. 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over F. Right? Back in the page. Okay. 1 over 20 plus 1 over who knows question mark equals 1 over 10 of them. Mathematically speaking, the easiest way to do this is to separate everything so that the numbers are on one side and the variables are on the other. 1 tenth minus 1 over 20. We can do least common denominator here because these are easy ones to do. We know that we can make these two bottom parts equal if we multiply this whole term by 2 over 2. Okay? 1 over Q equals 2, 2 times 1, over 2 times 10, 20 minus 1 over 20. Hopefully you can do that math inside your brain. 2 20ths minus 1 20th is, you guessed it, 1 20th. You should probably be writing centimeters and all these. Yeah, you'll get it. At this point, we do cross multiply or divide, and then you do the reciprocal. Either one works just fine. So we'll just do the reciprocal. Q equals 20 centimeters. Okay? 
All right, and then magnification is going to be negative Q over P. Magnification equals negative 20 centimeters over P, which was 20 also centimeters. So magnification should equal negative math one. That means that it should be just about the same size. Let's see if that's true. Okay. Okay, let's measure how far away our image is. Oh my gosh, it's so close. It is about 20 and a half, 20 and three quarters away. Oh man, our drawing is so close to perfect. And let's see here. This is about, oh golly, four of these units, whatever the heck they are, tall. This one over here is about, uh, oh wow, four of those units tall. Neat. Fancy, schmancy. So there you go. There is convex type number one. Okay, close it. Right.